Gang, what's popping, baby? What is going on in the life of a Taurus? First and foremost, yeah, I gotta say, y'all surprised me, okay? This is a bonus retrograde reading, okay? This is what can Taurus expect during this retrograde period. Who coming back? What I'm letting go? What I'm inviting in? What am I receiving? I, am I going to make a decision? Because, oh, Taurus, decisions, decisions, decisions. All right. Um, of course, I am still going to do the 1st to the 15th, August, uh, the generals. Yes, I am. Everybody just been make the cut for this retrograde reading. I'm doing these readings by the love, these readings by the love I received and used. So, Thank you, Taurus, for all of your likes, your comments, your shares. I'm mean, y'all starting to this girl is moving on up. So if I did not uh if I wasn't able to respond to your comments, y'all, y'all, you can have my phone anytime. Tag me, just let me know when you want to tag me in because I this phone don't shut the hell up. So I literally live with it on silent. But I do always have to go back and check the messages and sometimes y'all it's a whole lot of comments and Mocha trying to get her life, okay? So I don't always have time to come in, but I definitely want to let everybody know that I receive all that love, and I'm so grateful for it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Thank y'all, family, for continuing to support me, continuing this move. I'm not going to cry, but I do want to say thank y'all, okay? I appreciate it. To my new subscribers, to the old ones, y'all, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We cuss. We don't judge here. We, de we definitely share our opinions, and we definitely grow. We evolve here, okay? We trying to make it to the other side. Alrighty, so let's get it. So for this retrograde energy, of course, this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers of Taurus. Um, this is not a personal; it's a general. Um, if it does resonate a little bit, just tweaks and pieces. You're more than welcome to get a personal reading. I'm not 100% booked. This girl been on the go, move, 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 move. So because of that. I'm 100% open. Just hit me up. I usually respond to emails the same day and we get it popping. All right. So let's get it. All right. So coming forward, I did pull two angel messages. We're going to rock with those first. Okay. Um, I don't, I really, most of don't really read out the book. Okay. But for these Doreen Virtue messages, I don't like to misinterpret them or for that matter, mess the message up in no kind of way because when the angels communicate, we definitely want to get exactly what they're saying, not around what they're saying. But Take it how it resonates with you, my babies, okay? Y'all, I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I just feel the energy to tell y'all that. I feel like everybody is taking, 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 taking from my babies. And not many, not enough people are giving back, even if it's just listening to me. You know what I'm saying? Let someone to listen to you, Taurus. You know, even if it's just that, I feel like some of y'all are definitely trusting y'all intuition. A lot of y'all intuition letting y'all know. Some of y'all want to run far, far the fuck away. Y'all want to deal. Like, I look, I'm going to fuck these kids, fuck this job, fuck this shit for at least two, three days. I need some me time. Self-care is very, very, very crucial right now, okay? So the angel messages that I got, especially for my sign of Taurus, um, the angel message I got, funny because I got two beautiful messages. And I know this is strictly from the divine for y'all, was gold. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. I feel like a lot of y'all have been in a very meditative state. Through this Mercury retrograde, you are going to release some of the old. I, like I told everybody else, um, I hate when people are on this damn shit. Oh my goodness, the retrograde's coming. Oh, bad, 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 bad. No, some of that goddamn bad needs to go any damn way. Shit, misery loves damn company. When misery knocking at your door, tell them, hell no. I can't have no company. Don't nobody got time for that. Moving forward, it's going to be about tourists, about the new, about expansion. A lot of y'all probably been saying 333 a lot and 222. Balance, expansion, and trusting yourself, what you felt the first time, okay? So with this goal, it says you can expect a miracle to help with the situation you're concerned about. Prayers from multiple people have been heard and are being answered. This card indicates the need to hear and follow divine guidance. Many prayers are answered by God giving you a set of instructions to take action steps, which will bring about the blessed outcome. So do keep your mind clear and sober so that you won't miss noticing them. Create quiet space as well so that you can hear the inner voice of God. 
keep giving this troubling situation to God through prayer, including praying for help in surrendering, uh, in surrendering to the concern if you are struggling with fear or control issues. Since gold is associated with Jesus, this card can also be a sign to reconnect with them. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be putting people, places, things down and totally focus on connecting to source, okay? Connecting to your inner divine light, connecting to others' inner, inner divine light and recognizing who and who and who and who cannot help you grow. This Mercury retrograde is fucking up my communication. I might stutter, stu 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 but stay with me now, okay? Because I know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Like, your mama said, you know what the hell I was trying to say? Shit, you know, I'm from the country. Make me get my switch. I wish they would have picked up bills. Them damn switches hurt. My little legs is, ooh, thinking about it hurt. I'm sorry, Taurus. I was a bad kid. All right, Ruby. It's your next card. Okay? And smile a little bit. Everything got to be so serious. Smile, Taurus. Okay? Ruby, bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. You receive this card because your heart needs some tender love and care following a loss. Oh, oh, sorry. Following a loss or the ending of a relationship. You're grieving and could use a reassuring hug. I love you, baby. I'll tell y'all something. Just tell me to you. I love you. I'm proud of you. A reassuring hug. Which your guardian angels are giving you now. This can also be a sign to reach out for emotional support after a heartbreak. In some cases, this card may mean that your physical heart needs care and attention. Perhaps a healthy dietary or exercise change or medical intervention is needed. This card can be a sign to connect with the sacred heart of Jesus for spiritual healing and purification. God is blessing your heart and guiding you to take the path that's true and right for you. Ironically, both of those cards resonated with Mother Gaia's messages for you guys as well. Um, yeah, I'm letting Mother, Mother is speaking to you guys, okay? This retrograde reading had to get deep. I couldn't just focus on love. I had to focus on inner. Okay, so most of these retrograde um, messages from me, they are going to be about love, but most of it, if it's about love, it's about who letting go and who the, who the coming, okay? For some of y'all, it's about connecting with your inner self and being real with yourself. I don't give a damn how long people been in your life. If they ain't doing shit but just being in your life and you're the existing tourist, you got places to be. You got mountains to climb, baby. You trying to reach the highest pinnacle. And I damn near want to cry talking to y'all right now. And even though I'm just full of this damn bliss, I've been waking up like, boom, what's up, world? Here I am. Good morning. Okay. And I don't, <laughs> I don't got off but to that shit. But I do want y'all to know I love y'all. If you need to, if you need to hear it a thousand times, baby, I would say so. I ain't got time for that, but I love you with everything in me. All of the God that lives in me love you and all of the God that's moving across this existing world. And outside of it, in every dimension, loves every piece of your soul, baby. A lot of y'all got to know and believe that and make these moves forward. Issues with mothers could be coming up towards mother and father figures. A lot of y'all could also be um, trusting your intuition on every aspect, okay? Even if it takes you to a dark place, Okay, a lot of y'all needing to heal from that dark place. If you're seeing a lot of spiders during this time or owls, they are like divine messengers for you. They're letting you know with the with the with the spiders, the fact that in this intuition card, this is the card that you pulled. With this intuition card, I feel like something is trying to be birthed, but intuitively you know. Just to see this, this protection around the spider, the egg, something is trying to be birthed. And intuitively, you already know that in order to do that, you're going to have to possibly face your shadow side to move forward and conquer it, okay? To make some grounded decisions, which will bring wisdom to you, okay? And intuitively, you see this lady? She moving with a poker face. But she already, she's trusting her intuition through the wisdom that she's gained, okay? Some of y'all, you had to go through the darkness in order to choose to use that wisdom toward moving toward the light, okay? And during this time, that will be tested during this retrograde. Trust your intuition, baby. It's popping, all right? I do see a lot of y'all are freeing yourself out of mental bondage. You will be freeing yourself out of mental bondage. Whatever it was that you were mentally imprisoning yourself about that intuition is going to be popping you're definitely going to get mental clarity okay and it's going to help you balance some things out within the mind people places and things got to go what is more important to you okay what will move you and accelerate you to an to a higher pace at your pace okay everybody can't go with you a lot of y'all is in y'all head about 
you know, I, a lot of y'all is in y'all head kind of right now during this time. A lot of y'all is thinking about, I feel like not really saving the world, but saving the people that live in the midst of your world. You want to see them win like you trying to win. But Taurus, if they don't want it, you can't make nobody want not e motherfucking thing. I have to learn that the hard way. Okay. Also, I feel like during these moon cycles, a lot of y'all are going to be getting downloads that is going to have you kind of crazy. Remember when I told you with this intuition card, some of y'all may need to visit that shadow side in order to really fully heal. Okay. For some of y'all, I feel like this shadow side comes from having something to do with the mother figure. Or some type of woman in your life. This could be a baby mother. This could be a mother. This could be um, a sister. But I feel like some of y'all are definitely going to have issues through this during this retrograde time with healing. Um, well, things coming to the surface having to do with your parents. Okay. I feel like if your mother was a single mother, maybe, you know, you have an issue with trusting and moving forward in a relationship or trusting that somebody going to be there for you because maybe deep down, maybe you need to heal your abandonment issues. And I'm talking to about 10% of y'all spirits say. Visit that dark place because because of that dark place, it has made you so wise. It has made you know how to move with a vengeance. A lot of y'all know how to bring it back like the baker's man. Go get it and come back with it. And that's what you're about. Trust your intuition during this time. If intuitively and your dreams, even if your dreams are dark, if your dreams are showing you, some of y'all dreams are going to show you people ill will intentions. It's going to reveal their hearts to you. And even though you may love some of these people, they got to go. Your ass got to get, get, get. Okay? So they got to go. During this time, it's about you making a choice. You choosing. A lot of y'all are making a choice to start over completely. Fuck it. I don't want no door. Just just put an X on all of them. I don't want no door, okay? Some of y'all have a lot of choices, okay, to make. But some of y'all is leaving snakes behind, okay, before you get to that pinnacle. You see that pinnacle in that tree? Wisdom. Trees are one of the wisest resources here walking the rock. I say walking. Standing in the midst of the earth, okay? They older than we are. They're the only thing that, root, that is rooted to the ground. They will not be moved, okay? They're not moved. They're very grounded. They sit up and get all the energy of Ra, the sun, and all the wisdom of La Luna, the moon. Okay? They know all the secrets of the sun. They know how to maneuver. That's why a lot of it during this time, Taurus, a lot of y'all may want to go out and hug a tree. Ground your feet in soil. Okay? But communicate effectively. Even if it means you got to cut their ass up. Look, this and if you're going to stay in my world, this is how we rock it. If you can't rock like that, I cut your ass off and cut you up. I will cut this, cut your branch completely the hell off. Bye. Bye, Felicia. This is the season of bye, Fifi, and decisions, decisions. Okay? I do see some of y'all. Some of y'all, I feel like this is more so a family situation. You see also, this is a woman. It's the mother. I told y'all, some of y'all have, some of y'all are going to be healing relationship issues possibly with your children's mother or your children's father but i feel this has to do with mother figures in your life during this retrograde i feel like this is going to bring a lot of emotion for y'all but in order to get to these two pinnacles these these grand pinnacles baby you got to face that darkness okay but i feel like this could even be a family situation where y'all have to possibly to leave behind someone okay and I feel, Taurus, is you're not making a decision. You're kind of standing blinded, okay? You're not really communicating about it because, see, the sword is down. You're not really communicating about it. But during this retrograde, baby, you're going to communicate about it. You see, there's three doors. One of them is one of indecision, which some of y'all are going to walk in, period, point blank. Some of y'all are going to travel the door at least travel, okay? It's going to bring you, you're going to be able to use your wisdom. You see this apple? I look at the apple teacher's pet, but it's going to bring you a lot of fruition. Everything that you, the seeds that you've sown are going into fruition, but you got to choose a door. One, you can choose to stay in sorrow and sadness and resentment and in this confused, conflicted, emotional place that's going to make me cry. Okay? And I don't want to cry. I love y'all that much, but I, I don't, I'm not going to cry because this is the time to stand firm and stand strong and speak about what it is, everything it is that you want because it's yours. Okay? This is a hell of a manifesting time. All right? Also... Watch out for the snakes. Some of y'all have straight up, some of y'all, like I tell y'all, treasure dreams, even if they take you to dark places to visit these dark ass people who sit up and they, they, they you, you feel like they bring light to your life. But ironically, <laughs> I don't give a damn if you had it since it was a baby, baby. You fed it every day. Never forget it's still a snake. 
I will suffocate you. I'll bite you. You better make the right decision. A lot of y'all have choices. I told everybody else I've been um and so everybody else I've been um getting songs, okay, that's been coming. And so the song I got for y'all was um sing it to y'all while I shuffle y'all messages. Spirit what is in store for my twins is showing us rich grace. Show me the choices that they will have. Show me the lessons to be learned. Show me those who will be get walked away from and those who will be walking away from others. Show me, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. All right. The song I got for y'all is, um, Now what am I supposed to do when I want you in the world? How can I want you for myself when I'm already someone's girl? What am I supposed to do when I want you in the world? How can I want you for myself when I'm already someone's girl? I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Mm -hmm. First time that I saw you, boy, it was a warm and sunny day. All I know is I wanted you. I really hoped you looked my way. You smiled at me so warm and sweet. I could not speak. You made me feel like a little girl. What do you do to me? Now what am I supposed to do? When I want you in my world, how can I want you for myself when I'm already someone's girl? Decisions, 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 decisions. Four. Taurus, you may remember, I mean, you may resonate with the number four as well. During his retrograde, four brings stability. See this four pinnacles? He holding on, but you see his coins. <laughs> All right? Taurus, I see right now, okay, during this retrograde period, some of y'all could actually um, be trying to bring the balance back to your family situation. Some of y'all wanting to hold on to your family and actually nurture your nurture what you already have, okay, with someone. This could be an earth sign or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may have walked away from this person in the past during one of these moon cycles, but I do see for some of y'all, some of y'all are actually getting mental clarity, okay, you're getting out of your head so much and you're realizing, you know what, I want to work this out, I want to start over with you and offer this new beginning. Okay, after a period of healing, all right. So I do see y'all have y'all got two four. No, I'm sorry, y'all got three fours in here. So some of y'all may see four four four. Okay, for some of y'all, maybe you felt rejected by someone in the past, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Earth sign, a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you may actually want to heal. Okay, from something, and you're in this meditative place and somebody is really trying to hold on to you for financial reasons okay and i feel like you know it and you just really want to you want things to be fair okay you want things to be balanced you want this reconciliate reconciliation this is definitely of the season of read towards if you've been trying to manifest putting your family back together men in your family i do see if you water your own damn grass and, and, and walk away from the options because of some of y'all got a lot of options but i'm gonna be honest with you most of these options ain't shit they not shit they coming back with a little smile offers but they they may come back with financial offers, but the actual work of putting in, I feel like you, it's going to require a lot of work. And for some of y'all, y'all already been putting in work, okay? Y'all are actually going to be receiving the, the the fruits of your labor. I do see here. For some of y'all, some of y'all could have been dealing with a earth sign, and you feel like you're giving more to the relationship than this person, okay? I do see with that. Yeah, during this retrograde, you actually may be leaving that situation. Some of y'all could actually have a fallout with a Scorpio during this time. And I feel like it is involved in a three-party situation, okay? Um, but I feel like this, either you or this water sign wants to hold on. 
especially if you have a family with this person, okay? I also see here, Taurus, some of y'all could have actually recently met, I strongly feel, a Pisces, but it could be a Cancer or a Scorpio as well, but it could also be another Taurus, okay? And you feel like this person is a divine love to you, okay? This could be somebody who you dealt with or walked away from in the past, all right? And this person could be one of your options that you, some of y'all not even making a decision as far as your options. Some of y'all are needing more information. You don't feel like you have the clarity that you need. Some of y'all are seeing straight through earth signs bullshit. And we'll be seeing straight through earth signs bullshit during this um, retrograde season. It's going to cause you to cut them off. But this is the fours that I see. Look at this. Okay. I feel like because they fell in this order, I feel like so it's a lot of y'all are going to be healing. Okay, y'all could be healing from an uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But I do see, feel like a lot of y'all are going to be healing, okay? Because maybe in the past this person made you feel rejected or you made this person feel rejected. It's, it, could, it could even be a water sign. But I feel like a lot of y'all are pulling back and just staying focused on self, putting a lot of self-care in, meditating more, balancing your chakras, I feel. And I feel like once you fall back from this person, you see that was a four swords, four cups, and you got a four pentacles. I feel like falling back from this person and really healing all the way and really getting you together and focusing on your coin. <laughs> I feel like things will begin to turn around for you. However, with letting this person go, whoever this is trying to hold on to you for money, who y'all finna definitely get clarity about, especially for those of you who are truly trusting your intuition because your intuition is going to be booming. Y'all walking away from the earth side. And I feel like y'all coming to the realization there's not an equal give and take here. I'm giving to you. But the more I give to you, it seems like once I give to you, or once you take from me, you get what I'm saying? Then you want I feel like somebody around you is victimized. You give, give, give to this person, and either it's never enough, either they either they focus on what they did not give, or they some kind of way make you feel like you can turn their back on them or turn your back on them just to make you this is a victimized person, whoever I'm looking at. This is either an earth sign or a water sign. Strong emphasis on a Virgo, another Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio. This could be someone who you have children with. And maybe you try to hold on to this person by tangible things. That shit gone in during this Mercury retrograde. Okay, for some of y'all, some of y'all have a water sign that's a twin flame that's trying to get through the door, but y'all not making a decision. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all actually dealing with a water sign. You have a family with a water sign, and you're actually just going to water your own damn grass. Going to move away completely from the issues in the past, okay? Turn the situation around, all right? But again, it goes to most snakes. Taurus, watch out for them snakes around and keep the grass cut low during this rich grade, all right? Some of y'all could be getting married or talks about marriage with a soulmate, okay? Or divine love. That is definitely in the building, Taurus. Some of y'all need to balance your finances. Make, make time for your family. Balance love as well as work, okay? Because I feel like that's starting arguments for your spirit. I mean, that's a higher fit here. Well, damn, the higher fit clarifies the higher fit. Taurus, a lot of y'all are bringing balance. You're going to be getting balance back, okay? Balance is coming back towards love for damn sure during this retrograde season. All right. I hate when I drop cards. So let me just jump off the damn table. All right, yeah. In order to get this divine love, y'all, okay, some of y'all, like I said, are going to be moving, especially dealing with a water sign. Some of y'all are going to be walking away from possibly a water sign, all right, or just walking away from the issues with a water sign in the past and try to hold on to what you have, okay? Maybe you have left this person out in the cold, okay, and now you're in this land. I feel like during this retrograde, this person definitely will be back and they're going to want to start over with you, especially if you have a family with them. They're going to want to fix their family. That's the point, yeah. Again, on top of the four of ones, I got the ace of ones. So yeah, I feel like a new passion start is going to become is going to come uh, become more visible, okay, more tangible. You will see it more so on the surface. There's going to be a turnaround in the family situation, right? Oh, but some of y'all y'all gonna be reunited family. Some of y'all may have a Capricorn that want to come in and work it out with you. But I feel like you look at this person as being very toxic. You don't want to deal with them. You've healed from them. And a lot of y'all are going to be making a judgment call and decided to move away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Um, I also see, yeah, there's a water sign in the past that maybe you feel like was the one that got away. This could be um, someone who reminded you of your mother. 
or have more so nurturing tendencies. She could also be a mother or have children of her own. You definitely dealt with this person in the past. During the next full moon cycle, or it may have already happened, this person is going to want to come and kind of renew love and fix it. And it's going to be up to you to make a decision, to make a judgment call. For some of you, it's a Virgo. Some of you are, some of you are kind of in decision mode. And, big, and making a choice on if you want to cut off this air sign of this Virgo. Because I do see air, Virgo for show, Capricorn for show, is uh, possibly getting moved away from. This could be temporary temporary energy during this retrograde. But I do, because I do see for most of y'all, this person is going to be back. But you're going to definitely have to make some judgment calls and heal from people, places, things. For some of y'all, it's a family situation that you're moving away from. And you could have a water sign that's really in their feelings, feeling like, rejected you know you could also have people trying to offer you a new beginning another water sign and you just kind of like crying over spill milk like no i don't want to do that because i just got over being hurt and that's okay i feel like move it whatever makes you comfortable move at that pace but don't sit in your head for too long that's not your energy towards all right for some of y'all someone from your past okay that you dealt with Maybe things were slow moving with this person, okay? Too slow moving where the offer couldn't get off the ground. But for some of y'all, this person is definitely coming back. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could also be a, another Taurus like yourself. Um, yeah, some of y'all are trusting y'all intuition. You already know you're going to be moving away from the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you may be moving away from an air sign that was trying to hold on to you for money. There's not enough, um, there's not an equal give and take in this relationship, okay? Yeah, some of y'all are trying to hold on to a foundation due to a family situation. You want to reunite your family, okay? Whatever it is that you have to do, especially if someone messed up in the past. I feel like in the past there were issues with communication. Some of y'all have a Pisces they want to come in and start over with you, okay? Or the Sagittarius, okay? I feel like there's not enough equal give and take, but I definitely see Pisces and Sagittarius in the building. Some of y'all... Someone wants to move forward after a three-party situation, okay? They want to reunite. They want to reconcile. You know the retrograde is, you know, the, the, the key word in retrograde is re. So it's the season of the re. Reconnect, reconcile, reconsider, renew, rebirth, okay? The season of the re, but what re best fits you, best suits you, bring you the most happiness, the most peace, the most abundance. A lot of y'all are going to be moving away from hostile energies. Anything, people, place, or thing that is hostile to you, you're going to get the fuck away from it, okay? Some of y'all are in y'all head about starting over with a Gemini Libra query. Maybe, um, maybe I feel like some of y'all are just completely focused on work. Some of y'all are not getting enough sleep due to focus, due to being focused on work, okay? However, I feel like some of y'all are not communicating at work like you need to about your coin. That's going to change. That tower's going to fall. So it's going to let them know, look, I need, I need more shmoney. Okay, I have a family. Some of y'all, oh, some of y'all, y'all better watch y'all energy, okay? Some of y'all could be pregnant, okay? Or this could be you giving something to a mother figure, a child's mother, okay, to make things right. Maybe they was fighting in the past, especially if this is a fire sign, okay? Or this could have been a cardinal sign, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, or a Aries, all right? But I do see some of y'all want to communicate, um... You will be communicating or receiving communication, possibly from someone who you was fighting with in his past. Maybe who the hell this tower fall with. This could be this Scorpio. But I do see for some of y'all, some of y'all have been wishing for this damn tower to fall. And I'm not going to lie, some of y'all have been wishing for some get out of jail free papers, okay? And you're going to get just that. You're going to get just that. For some of y'all, it's with a counselor. On Aquarius. Oh. Yeah, who's this message coming from? What is this message about? Yeah, an Aries. Some of y'all are going to communicate passionately with an Aries, okay? Or maybe have an Aries take a leap of faith, trying to move towards you and communicate something uh, passionately. Maybe this is something that you you fought yourself internal, internally about or this person fought their self internally to do, but there's definitely going to be um, some form of nurturing, okay? Maybe you look at this person, this Aries or this, this earth sign, as someone who, you know, as some, it's like a mother figure. You look at someone who you can love. Some of y'all are fighting y'all love, okay? Or fighting with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like that relationship is going to be very tumultuous during this time, okay? So definitely nurture yourselves. I'm feeling to tell my Tauruses to nurture yourself. Some of y'all got a Scorpio <coughs> coming in to communicate very, very, very fast. But some of y'all, y'all moved away from this person during this blood moon, or y'all will be moving away from this person. It could happen yesterday. But for some of y'all, some of y'all moved away from a mother figure. This could be a water sign, an earth sign. 
But y'all moving away from this person, okay? Really fast, all right? You're trying to get out of this defensive energy. or you, When this person comes to see you, you could have this damn defensive energy, especially if it's a Scorpio, an Earth sign, uh, or a Fire sign, okay? Yeah, but so for the most part, a lot of y'all are going to be trying to protect y'all families during this time. I feel like there are outside sources that are coming for tourists, and y'all are not having it, okay? But definitely trust your intuition, okay? Don't stay too much into your thought, into your thoughts, okay? Into your head about love, all right? Or work or finances, all right? Knowing is putting it out there is believing it, okay? Don't pray if you're going to worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry, all right? I feel like a lot of y'all have new love coming in from a soulmate, all right? But you, in order to be successful, you have to get over the quick, quick run of a spill milk. You can't put that damn... That damn wine back in them cups. If you did, it'd be dirty as hell and you wouldn't want it no way. So take what you got, baby. Be grateful for it and move forward, okay? Don't live in this place. It's gone. It's over. What did you learn from it? This is about what you learned in order to move forward. Trust your intuition because it's leading you to beautiful places, okay? I do see some of y'all are possibly juggling um, two water signs. I strongly feel that. Or some of y'all could be in a... In, in a situation of just not making a decision due to the past, okay? You want to uh, make a decision possibly between work and love, okay? But you're just like, hell no, I don't I don't want to do it because in the past, our hell broke loose. You see that boat from the flip the fuck up? Don't rock my damn boat. I can't swim. Shit. All right, so it's calling for communication, okay? Some of y'all have communication coming in from a cancer who you feel possibly the soulmate. This person could have actually put you in a... Some of y'all could actually be charging in actually to communicate something with him. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Strong emphasis on Leo, but this person is your soulmate, all right? So be embracing, be embracing to love. Be accepting. Don't be in your head too damn much. Some of y'all are just going to be focusing on work, okay? But some of y'all are going to be focusing on building something up with this Leo person, all right? But it's going to come with communication. The, the I will not... And I will. What the hell will you will not do? I just cannot, boo. I cannot. All right? Ain't no in-betweens. I can't. Period. Point blank. All right? So this is what I have for y'all for this retrograde. Y'all hold it down. Be open to the reads. Death. Things have to die in order for the reads. Rebirths. Renewals. Redos. Reconnections. Reconciliations. <laughs> All the re. Because it's the re. They get to our highest pinnacles. Get out your head on your damn feet. And I love y'all. Mm -hmm. See y'all during the first to the fifteenth general, baby.